Hello everyone and welcome back to more Football Manager 2019 with me, Mr. Grand 2, and episode 72 of Monaco and the last part of season 6, at least as far as the club season is concerned. Anyway, here we are going to be playing the Coupe de France final against Lyon. And that obviously does mean that we haven't won the league, otherwise we'd have come back soon and we'll come and have a look at that in a second. But, well, to be honest, I wouldn't really care if we could win the Coupe de France. This This competition has been the bane of my existence it is the only domestic trophy we have yet to win we have been in the final the last two seasons and each of those seasons we lost in uh, well pretty pretty unfortunate circumstances against PSG um, the first time they completely outplayed us and trashed us last time we were very very unlucky but this time we are against Leon, so we can't possibly lose to PSG we'll probably still find a way to lose but at least it won't be against PSG so since last time we did get through the semi-final and we also beat Cannes, um, well, we ended the season very, very well. A 7-1 win against Bordeaux, a 3-2 against Nice, a 3-1 against Le Havre and a 2-0 against Guignop on the final day of the season. But as really was expected, it was all too little, too late. Um, you know, again, like last season, very, very unfortunate, I think, um, to lose the league. PSG once again have been fantastic. They've got 100 points once again. I mean, there's not much you can do about that. Only six points behind this year, which is better than last year, but obviously not as good as the first four years where we were the ones leading the way. Um, but next year, hopefully, we can push on and get ourselves the title back. I mean, it's going to be difficult. We don't have a very big transfer budget. We're going to have to sell to buy, um, but uh, hopefully it'll be an improved season. After the cup final, we will probably go through some of the uh, end of season review stuff, although potentially not because... Uh, well, we've got the uh, European Championships coming up, so I think a lot of it will probably be touched on in that. We'll have to wait and see how it goes. And uh, then we've also got the Olympic Games coming up, so a very action-packed summer in terms of the French national side. And uh, we've also got to do some transfers on that limited budget and improve this team, try and get our league title back, try and win the Champions League. Hopefully, we won't have to win the Coupe de France uh, for a first time, though, because we're going to do that today. So the form is definitely with us. Leon having a pretty disastrous end to the season. They've not won in five. I mean, you've, you've played this game before. You know what that means. They're going to beat us 5 nil, aren't they? Um, our record against them is, is pretty good. Very good. We've had, got eight wins against them, four draws, only one win for Leon in the entirety of the save so far. All of these good omens, I assume in about 90 or 120 minutes time, will count for absolutely nothing um, but you never know, you never know. So here's the team for the Coupe de France final. Can they break our curse in this tournament and particularly in the actual final itself? Unfortunately, no Frank Kessie. He's suspended, got himself an extra yellow card, which is very silly of him, but there we go. Um, which means it's going to be Alexandre in goal, uh, Mendy, Delict, Martinez and Henriks at the back. The star man really in the second half of the season. Basile Allard has come in and been absolutely sensational. He's not going to be going anywhere despite interest from Liverpool. I will pay him pay him the big bucks if need be. And I think there's plenty of players we can certainly move on. I think Keita Balde will be moving on in the summer. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, so Tielemans is going to be partnering Tenali in midfield with Skov on the right-hand side. I mean, 7.66 for Skov. It's kind of gone a bit under the radar this year, but his usual, usual excellent self. He's just the absolute MVP of this side. How are an attack in midfield? And Patrick Schick, who, well, I was going to say he's on for. He, he has had his best season. 25 goals for him this season. It is his best season. And if he can get any in the final, it will extend an already impressive record. So we played Leon lots of times before in the save. Still got some excellent players from the start of the game. Still got Moussa Dembele, Bertrand Traore, Memphis Depay, Lucas Toussaint as well. They've also got Enrique Garcia on loan from us. He may well have a role in our first team next season. He's done very, very well for Leon this year. And, uh, well, really, we should be integrating him, although I expect they'll probably try and sign him permanently. I mean, what do we say? What do we say at this point? Go out there and actually win. Get The, the trophy's on the line. Go out and show everyone you're born winners. They love that. Absolutely love that. Only, only the strikers that aren't as motivated. Let's go out there and do the business, can we please just win this competition? Can you imagine losing three finals in a row? That is that that would be that would be heartbreaking. 
early chance for us. Robert Scott on the ball takes it on. Weak shot in the end from the Dane. Where is I, I didn't look up where this is taking place. Absolutely massive pitch as well. Hang on. Well, it is actually taking place at the Stade de France. I don't think we've ever had a match at the Stade de France. So that is uh, right, fin finally a venue fitting for our inevitable 90th minute defeat. Scov with a free kick, flicks it in towards Matthias de Ligt, and he's apparently offside. That is, maybe it's the big pitch that's done it. He's not used to it. He's never offside, normally. How is that offside? When was he offside in that? That is ridiculous. That's not even tight. That's just nonsense. Goodness me. Chance again for us. Scov on the ball. He seems to be the main man today. Can he get a goal? He can't get a goal or an assist. Basile Lard puts it just wide. Three highlights in our favour. We, we're dominating the game, dare I say, as we come up to half-time. Still no breakthrough. I mean, we've been the better team. Keep doing what you're doing. They don't really like that. They're not really motivated. Go out there and make a difference. That will, you know, fire them up. 60 minutes gone. Nothing doing in this second half. Why do I feel this is going to end with a penalty shootout defeat? Just like that Champions League final all over again. Right, another throw in. Everything has been a set piece so far. Patrick Schick on the ball. He is onside this time. Gets his 26th goal of the season. It's been his best year for us. It could be one of the best moments of our entire time here. If we keep this up, Allard, of course, with the assist. Brilliant take from Schick. Forces the fall from the defender. Slots it home. What a season he's had. And we've got the lead. There have been so many big matches this season and this whole save, really, where we've had the lead. And it's not ended the way we wanted it to. Can this one be different? Here's a highlight for Leon late on. Obviously, we know how this is going to go. Yep, there it is. Oh, he's offside. Good. Bertrand Traore, uh, of course, the man responsible for Chelsea's transfer ban in, in, well, partially, partially, he's the highest profile name, gets the goal, but it's offside. Is is that our luck beginning to turn? All right, 10 minutes to go. I'm not making these substitutions unless we get another goal. Martinez puts it over. Every single highlight we've had has been a set piece today. Five minutes to go. We've been here before, though. We've been here before. The game against Leon, which pretty much cost us the title where they scored in, what was it, the, like the 94th minute? We've got four minutes of injury time here. We know how this is going to go. At least this one will we'll go to extra time if, if it has to. It comes to Awar, plays it back to Skov, puts it across for Awar and he puts it wide. A chance to seal it against his former club and there's one more highlight with 30 seconds to go. Please no, please not like this, not again, not again. There's no point making any subs, we can't do it. Tielemans robs it. Leon playing it around, ball over the top of Musa Dembele, I think he's offside, is he offside? He is, and is that going to be it? It's not been the most eventful cup final, but I couldn't care less, are we finally going to do it? We are, after six seasons, we have finally won the Coupe de France, and all it took was PSG to get knocked out by Marseille way back in the fourth round, or whatever it is, there's so many rounds, I don't know. And we've done it, and we can relax. And Leon didn't really offer anything, to be fair. It was very, very, very one-sided. But there we go. We've finally won the Coupe de France. And they do deserve it. It's been a very good season. Obviously, we won the Trophy of the Champions right at the start. But it would be a, it would have been a big shame if we hadn't won that. Because, yeah, no, that we, we, we deserve to win something, given how close we've been in so many competitions, and we've finally, finally broken our curse in the Coupe de France. I don't, I don't care if we don't win it again after this. Don't care if we never win it again. Um, now that we finally won it, all we really need to do now is win the Champions League. That's the only thing left. And that may well be the focus, I think. I think potentially next season we'll just sort of skip past the entire first half of the season, go straight to the Champions League knockouts, unless, of course, we get knocked out which is also entirely possible. But there we go. We've got a double of sorts. No, it doesn't really count, does it? The FA Cup and the Community Shield. It's not really the kind of... Not really the drug, the double people dream about. Uh, but uh, excellent performance. Uh, Fatty Tareem's not, not very impressed. Um, Iconic Russo builds legacy. 12 trophies in six years. When you say it like that, it's not that bad, really. 
it's not that bad. It's just it's just frustrating when you are about 30 seconds away from reaching the Champions League semi-finals and you chuck it away. It's frustrating when you're a penalty away from winning the Champions League final and you chuck it away. But yeah, we can't complain too much. I mean, that's an impressive record. That's more that's more trophies in 6 years than Tottenham have won in like over a decade. So overall, then, didn't really rotate very much. Henriks and Mendy both making over 45 appearances. Skov getting a ton as well. De Ligt, Martins, the players you'd expect. They are our best players. Top goal scorer, of course, Patrick Schick. 26 goals for him. 18 for Skov. Another fantastic season for the Danes. 28 now. Him and Schick both sort of in their prime. And they're, I mean, well, Skov's not going anywhere. He's going to retire here. I don't care what happens. He's going to retire here. Um, Allard with 15 goals. Now, the, some of those were for the reserve team before he broke into the first team, but fantastic from the 18-year-old. He's going to be a star for us next season. He is wanted by Liverpool, as said. He wants to leave. He doesn't want to sign a new contract, but he got four years left in your deal, mate, so you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Um, Lozano actually having a really good season as well. 14 for him. Kessie as well, too. Pellegri getting a few. Not Not bad from our attacking players. And if we saw by average rating, I mean, Skov, obviously, the standout. He always is. He always is. Schick having a fantastic year as well, as we said. Henrik's really coming good as well. Allard, brilliant. Um, I mean, Mendy, I was considering potentially replacing Mendy. I don't know. He's got a very good average rating. He has let us down in a few big games. I think probably we'll, we'll finally get another left back in anyway, just to provide competition. We haven't got enough money to really do much more than that. If we go down the bottom, who's not excelled particularly well? Endon Bele didn't really play much, but he didn't really do all that much with his time. Valmir was incredibly disappointing. He never really, he didn't get many games because when he did play, he was so poor. Hopefully just a blip for him. Olmo wasn't great either. He may well move on in the summer. Same for Berardi, really. I mean, a 6.95 isn't bad, but it's not not outstanding. Um, I think Keita Balde may well have played his last game. Barely ever played for us this year. Mamana as well players we may look to move on if we can get suitable replacements and we can actually afford to bring them in overall best 11 then and Lozano has actually gone in there ahead of Balde which is uh, quite interesting Subasic is still the best goalkeeper which I find well I guess it probably sums up Lafont's career here doesn't it otherwise I don't think there's any changes there Schick's the striker he has been there for a while Henrix is the right back as well Team of the season, pretty much as you would expect, actually, with Alexandre in goal. Robert Skov, player of the year, once again. I mean, has he won it every year? I can't remember. He got goal of the season as well. Alexandre, signing of the season, um, which I guess tells you a lot about our other signings as well. And Matthias De Ligt is still getting young player of the year. He's 24 now. He's not exactly young, is he? Not exactly young. Um, side of 2018, where are they? Uh, most of them are still with the club, actually. Let's have a look. So, yeah, if we're saying Falcao is still with the club because he's here as a coach. But anyway, yeah, De Ligt's still here. Mendy, Skov, Tanani, Hendrik, uh, Henriks and Pellegri, of course. Ronnie Lopez is still at Bayern Munich. Golovin's still at Man United. Martin's still at Atletico Madrid. Jack Clark's at Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, Kamal Glick is at Dinamo Kiev. Uh, now Adrian Silva's at Leicester City, obviously. Uh, Jibril Sadibi at Al... Is he had Subasic is at New England Revolution. Jemison's still at Shanghai. Cesc Fabregas is now at Mallorca. And Nasser Chadley plays for Kazrula SC. Next season then, what do we do? I mean, you know, can we try and win the league? Let's let's aim to win the league. I mean, we should probably aim to win. We, we won't win it. We won't win it, but we can always try. The youth facilities have been downgraded. We don't have enough money to fix them. That's good. I've not even looked at the bank balance yet. I don't want to do that right now. Lots of our players called up for either the Copa America. Martinez, Alexandre getting the senior squad, which is good to see. Lozano and Garcia. Siam and Schick, Skov, Mendy, Awa and Allard have been called up. Uh, Henriks, Pellegri, Delict, and Rykovic as well. Yes, um, we'll, talk, we'll talk about the French squad in the next episode. I have called up Basile Allard. Obviously, I was going to. He's been so good. Patrick Schick breaks the goal-scoring record he set back in 2020 by three goals. Robert Skov, 10 Man of the Match awards, breaks his own record as well. Um, well, he's not really broken his record, has he? He's equaled his record. That doesn't make any sense. Hugo Lloris is going to retire. Um, when? 
Is that now? Because I've just called him up for the French squad. When is he retiring? I'm assuming it means at the end of his contract, so he's actually going to be there for the Euros. But, uh, yeah, no, he's not retired just yet. But, yeah, that's, that would be difficult, wouldn't it? He's literally in the squad and he's going to retire. And a double bad week for Lyon. Uh, they made it to the Champions League final. Um, it'd be nice if we did that. And they lost to Spurs, which means Spurs have actually won two Champions League finals in the save. I think I said earlier they haven't won any trophies. Obviously, I meant in real life, uh, in the game. They're doing very well. Two Champions Leagues in six years for Spurs. And once again, a French team loses in the final to Tottenham. Um, yeah, very disappointing for Lyon. At least it wasn't us losing in the final again. That is for sure. So that is going to be the end of the episode there. We'll go through the financial stuff and any sort of other awards later on in the next episode, which will be the start of our Euro 2024 campaign. Hopefully a victorious one. Uh, I'll see you then for that one. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you do not miss the European Championships and then Season 7, which, as I said, will probably be quite a bit quicker. We'll probably just skip the entire first half of the season after the Trophy to Champions is done, unless anything particularly exciting happens along the way. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.